Hi, I'm Brian Rose, the founder of Biohackers United. And today I wanted to talk about how the human body can produce biophotons. As a vibrational energy biohacker, my background is how to increase vibrational energy. My long-term goal is to transition from the third dimension to the fourth dimension. Now, I'm attempting to do that on a regular basis through higher vibrational training specifically in the frequency of gamma which gamma frequency is between 30 hertz and 100 hertz and then i'll do sessions in lambda frequency which is 100 to 200 hertz i'll use a particular headset and i'll do the sessions for about an hour but what we're gonna look at today like i said is human bioluminescence and the new technology that they're using that's called bioluminescence imaging or BLI. So bioluminescence has become extraordinarily popular and has skyrocketed in the last decade. Bioluminescence is the emission of light photons that's produced by living organisms. Biophotons are basically vibrational energy that is continuously released over your lifetime through a metabolic process. Now, there are specific health benefits to looking at bioluminescent imaging, which includes fields of study such as neurology, oncology, and virology. So, bioluminescent imaging has been used to track fungal infections such as candida and aspergillus. It's also been used in the detection of diabetes. They've looked at BLI when it comes to both viral and bacterial infections that has shown up in imaging. So the final thing that they've been looking and and I'll show you pictures is cancer research because they're using the bioluminescent imaging to monitor and detect changes in tumors. So devices that they've been able to create for bio luminescent imaging technology today we have imaging systems basically they're called complementary metal oxide semiconductor imaging systems just simply referred to as CMOS so the CMOS cameras contain multiple electrical sensors that capture biophoton emissions by computers basically stacking the images on top of each other to detect biological changes. So vibrational frequency and sound, everything within the body produces its own frequency and bio photon light emission that can be actually, it can be mapped over time. Cells that once they become cancerous, they will alter and they'll produce a completely different vibrational sound and tone from normal cells which has already been detected in clinical settings. So ways you can alter or increase your body's vibrational frequency is high intensity training to increase your body's VO2 max. Meditation. Meditation, it helps reduce oxidative stress, also helps elevate the divine energy, your universal energy that is within your core body itself. One thing I wanted to relate this to is if you could see the globe that I have. Now, the globe emits radiant light similar to the human body itself. So within us, we have vibrational energy that as we elevate it, just like the globe itself, will change and increase the biophoton production. It will increase and emit different light. So in conclusion, and this is something to consider, is as an adult, over time, you lose about 2% in vibrational frequency 
and see that you can measure each year. So you might start out around 70 megahertz and then you'll slowly drop 2% per year. A healthy body, which I talk about in my videos, is typically between 62 and 70 megahertz. And then when your body starts to drop below 58 megahertz, that's when chronic conditions set in, which now we can use the bioluminescent imaging to track viral bacterial, fungal, and even cancer tumors with the CMOS computer imaging by stacking the images on top of each other. Now, something to become aware of is as you increase your body's vibrational frequency, increase those neuro connections. A way to tell if you've started to just as a biohacker or just something to consider is you'll have a increased sense of smell. So if you're at the gym, if somebody walks past deodorant, you'll smell their cologne. You might smell certain individuals walking past you or in the locker room. Pick up on people as far as their scent. And you'll if you start to detox, reduce inflammation, increase your vibrational frequency, that is something you will need notice over time. The other thing that you'll also can happen, which I can tell, is you'll have a expanded field of vision. It's kind of like the lights come on and you can see more vibrant colors or you can see a greater, like they say, a greater field of vision. So both your ability to smell and your sight. If you pay particular attention, you'll start to notice the changes. Now, these changes could be subtle or they could be dramatic changes. If I fast for three days or if I do a blood donation or if I do a sauna session, those are particular biohacks that automatically notice a increase in sense of smell and fill the vision. But the uh, main purpose of today's video is to talk about the human body produces bioluminescence. It produces biophotons, which we can now measure and track over time. You can look up the different devices and the equipment. And I hope this helps as far as uh, getting greater awareness out when it comes to what the healthy body may look like under different types of bioluminescent imaging and things that you can detect different chronic conditions. If you have any thoughts or questions, post it in the comments and I'll see you next time.